Hello YouTube, um, we're going to be opening this, arrived yesterday, I just haven't had the time to uh, go through it and I'll tell you what it's all about. go yeah as you you expect from Amazon huge box um, and all that's in it is that but anyway let's see what's in here now you know I need to calibrate my um, okay start from the start um, the Europe and UK got the BP and blood and ECG, BP monitoring and ECG monitoring um, capability yesterday or the day before. And I just need to calibrate my Galaxy Watch 3 to make sure that my BP recording is um, reliable. Now I've always heard in healthcare that the manual SFIG, which is a this type of version, but it's the pump one that you pump. I've always heard that that's more uh, accurate than these electronic ones. But um, Samsung do say you, you can use these to calibrate. So that's what we're gonna do. And I hope it doesn't take too long. It should be uh, straightforward, but uh, we'll, we'll get through with it and see how we get on. Uh, so I got this from Amazon. Um, I can leave some links in the description. You might want to choose a different one, um, but I just went with something that was um, economical, shall we say. Uh, some of you might be interested in the specs and want to critique some of this and say, oh, it's not the right one, or yes, that one is a good brand. Some of you might already know what this is. So, upside down here we go and there so let's just get into it and see what's in the box looks like it's open yeah. so that's the car there you go and we know where it goes so that shouldn't be a problem uh, what I might struggle with is where it actually connects so there, that's how it goes around the arm. And let's open it up. So what I'm looking for is the, the other side of this, which is this. Right. There you go. So there we go. That's the end that goes. I'll show you where this goes. Just so you can see. Right. You also get some instructions. I don't know if we're going to be referring to these, but um, we might do. We might need to. And then you get the, the item itself. plastic feel to it clicky buttons uh, and this is where I think this thing would go without checking let's just let me just be sure before I start breaking it before I've even used it yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna say it goes in there and it does you, you have to kind of force it in but um, that is it. So let's just see if it's got any kind of power at all. I've just noticed here, I've never seen any one of these that you get to charge, uh, but let's say USB, micro USB, it's not type C. Um, and I've also seen that the back, you can put three, I'm going to say triple A batteries, it's four triple A batteries. So I'm going to get those in and then we can see whether we can use this. Let's just stop it here. So we have four batteries here. We call them triple A. They might be called other things in different countries. But as you can see, there's three A's there. That's why they're triple A. So it's the smallest of the, 
well, I don't want to say smallest because there's different types, but let's put that in there. Put that in there. And here we go. Right, I don't want to uh, go through the instructions, but what I wanted to just show is that usually when you take blood pressure, there's a correct posture and a wrong posture. So you need to sit down, have the cuff on your arm. In this case, we're going to have it on the right arm because Samsung tell you that it should be opposite to where your watch is. And my watch is on the left, so the machine's going to go on the right. Uh, that's wrong, so that posture is not recommended. You need to be sitting upright and your arm resting on the thing like that. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and now hopefully when I press the on off button, it just records. Um, otherwise, if it fails, then I'll have to stop the video and start again, uh, having read the instructions, but I don't want to go through them. So let's go. So what you would usually do with this is, um, you would get your arm in and make sure that this thing is above the artery. So basically, um, needs to be above your arm. If I stretch my arm, it needs to be right above there. And you see from the photo, I'll show you again from the instructions. But it should be straightforward to um, do this. So let's put the arm in. You stretch it up. Put the arm in. Ignore my dog. I've told him to be quiet, but that's when he usually um, doesn't. Right. So once you do this, I think that's how it looks. And then I can rest my arm here. I need to pull it up a bit. Let, let's just do that. Pull it up a bit. So usually there's an artery right where the word is. And that's where it needs to be um, configured. So what you do, you wrap it around. It's all Velcro. And then you pull it around yourself. Not too tight because it's going to tighten itself anyway. Um, as you can see, I can put my fingers through there. Um, there we go. So right, we're going to click start and see whether that makes any difference. But before we do that, we just need to go to the watch. Um, and I'm going to go to um, blood pressure and just click learn more. Uh, and it says to follow the instructions on the phone. So if we uh, open the phone, it's ready for us to put the fingerprint in. There you go. This is to calibrate. So let's do that. Uh, it will give you these things. If you see my last video, you will see what it says. So we're going to skip through these. Just look at my previous video and then get started. Right. You can see there that it needs you, your watch to be in a certain position. So you push it to the far here. You're supposed to have some kind of distance here uh, between your watch and this and this bone here, I think where it is for me is fine. So um, we're just gonna carry on with that. So it's in it's in position. We're going in, and they're showing you how to put that thing on. As you saw, this is how I've done it. Um, so we're ready to go, I think. So let's do next and see what the instructions want us to do. Uh, start your blood pressure machine. So. And then it says here your watch will start measuring automatically. So I'm going to click. I'm hoping this is start. Yep, yeah, it's pumping. I hope you can hear that. And I need to leave my arm laying down. And the watch is counting. Oh, that's tight. It's releasing now. And it's done. So as you can see, we've got 123 over 80, systolic, diastolic, and this is the pulse. Um, so 
I'm hoping this is going to ask me to enter. Oh, here we go. The phone is asking me to enter what the readings are. So I'm going to do that. 123 over 80. So this is what it looks like. Um, 123 over 80. And you need to get this the right way around. Systolic is always the higher one. So you need to get it the, the right way around. And then I'm going to do done. There it's asking me to confirm, confirm. Um, first measurement complete. So what I'm going to do is just try this. I think you have to do it three times or something like that. Uh, I'll confirm when I finish, but let's just uh, get on with it. I don't want the video to be too long. So next. Next. Yeah, so we need to enter that, 133 over 87, 133, 87, done, confirm, second measurement complete, second measurement complete, uh, next, next, do the thing again. So again, rest your arm, make sure it's straight on the table. And let me just see if I can. It needs to be like, it needs to be like that for this to work properly. Right. Um, so let's do that final reading. Right, we got 117 over 80. Yeah, calibration's finished. Now you can take your BP on the watch. And you need to wear it on the same wrist as one during calibration. Right, so there we go. So this is what it looks like um, when you've calibrated. 
So what I'm going to try and do now is take a reading, but I need to take this off first. This was very tight, actually. Uh, it gets very tight. I think I saw one of the readings went up to 159, 160 before it starts to uh, release the air so that it takes a reading. And you can feel this part of your arm, the pulse. You can actually feel it because it's pressed. Uh, but if you've had blood pressure taken before, you know all this. Right, okay. So let's take this off. And... Let us try and see if the watch will work for us in using just the watch now to take the blood pressure. So let me just go to the relevant part. Measure. Right, what's the instructions? Make sure the watch is snug at the same wrist as worn during calibration and always wants you to leave a gap here. But as you saw, that worked for me where it where it is. Results displayed. Da, 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 da. So this is just warnings. There you go 124 over 82 so i i think i recognize that number more unlike the 130s we got before it's usually around 120 over 80 so that to me sounds like it's going to be an accurate number so there you go you even got your bits per minute as well so done and let's see if it's come through here yeah so it's come through as the first recording. So that is it. I don't want to make this too long, but make sure that you regularly calibrate. I want to say, I think it's something like once a month, but uh, read the instructions. Um, uh, it will definitely say you need to regularly calibrate the watch. Otherwise, you don't get reliable results. But um, there you go. I hope that's helped. Have a good day.